Voters in the city of Kalama will be deciding whether to remove fluoride from their drinking water. Yeah, we found out the idea came from the city's own mayor who says he doesn't drink the water. Amy Frazier has facts on this proposal. Did you have people in your community come to you and tell you that they're concerned about this and they wanted this changed? Nope. No. Nope. It was my idea. Kalama Mayor Pete Paulson tells me he rarely drinks the city water here because he's worried about the fluoride added to the water. I don't believe that, that there's a lot of strong scientific research to say that it's, it's uh, good for everybody. There is a target zone of uh, what we're trying to reach. Uh, and that's usually uh, children. The city of Kalama has added fluoride to their water since 1964, costing about $3,500 a year. According to the CDC, water fluoridation is a safe and effective way to reduce tooth decay. It greatly improves the ability for teeth that are becoming what we call carious, or to be, get cavities, to remineralize, and so they wouldn't, people wouldn't get cavities. Mayor Paulson argues that very little fluoridated city water is actually reaching children, something I also asked the superintendent of public works about. How much city water is reaching children? I couldn't tell you that. I haven't done a study. Still in November, voters will be asked to decide whether they still want fluoride in their water. Let's just put it out there to the public. Everybody can decide then how they want to vote and, and then I guess the argument will be over, you know, one way or another. In Kalama, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.